Jesse, we're back. Back again. Good to be back, as always, with you, mate. Oh, thanks, mate. Very right. kind. Start very off kind. the day with a nice affirmation for us all. Speaking of starting off the day, it's mm. like nine in the morning. It is nine in the morning. It's an early one for us. And we've us. cracked a beer. How good? Yeah, breakfast. Uh, Brecky bre- beers. Brecky beers. beers. You know what, what beer do we have? We have the, uh, the world famous... Cold Chisel, which is a pl- good play on words, Zev. Is it? Obviously, Cold Chisel. Oh, yes. What's your favourite Cold Chisel song? Flame Trees. Mine is um, Along the Watchtower. That's a nice Cold Chisel song. But it's uh, Big Shed Brewing. <laughs> Big Shed Brewing, Cold Chisel. I love Cold, it. That's Cold a good Chisel. beer. Yeah, Australian Pale. You've been, have you been down to Big Shed before? I have. I've been there a few times. We had a Bucks there. It got very messy. People were spraying hand sanitizer That's across right. the room. No, yeah. I've never heard of that. Shout out to the people that really wanted to spray some hand sanitizer across <laughs> the room. But I actually went down there last night. With a few mates, had a yeah. few beers, had a burger. Sounded a bit flat. Me? Yeah. Am I flat, am I? I'm a bit flat. No, no, I'm good, mate. I'm pumped. I'm ready to go. How many How many cold shizzles did you have at the Big Shed last I night? I had a couple of cold shizzles. I drove, though. I was being responsible because I knew I had this ah. today. I wanted ah. to be pumped up, ready okay. to go. Um, But today is another Uh-oh. special day. What day is it? Day. We're, uh, we're getting pissed for the uh, hottest 100 at yours, mate. We are getting pissed. We both got uh, band tees on. Yeah. Um. You think King Sting? Oh, I it, thought that was. Uh, you've got the speed. It's show not iShow speed. I it's thought it was iShow speed. speed. The amount of times that I get I, is that iShow speed. It's it's as hardcore world. What yeah, he's mean? hardcore as. Is he hardcore as? Yeah, you yeah, think yeah. King Sting is going to take it out this week? Uh, I don't think they're going to take it all out. No, maybe Milk a couple, couple of top twenty chances. Color, color tops. Yeah. Well, I don't think speed are going to be up there. Unfortunately, <laughs> I don't think. What, World Cup. Oh, oh, World Cup. <laughs> that's not what it is. But yeah, anyway, gang called Speed, Sydney Hardcore. I don't think they will be up there. I wish they were. It's wishful thinking, but we'll see how we go. Um, just while we're in the intro, I just want to catch you off guard. Mm. Stubby Holders, how are they looking? Have you got something for us? Yes, mate. I've got an update on the Stubby Holders. I am in contact with um, a local SA company, uh, Soup Can Stubby Holders. So shout out to them. What are they called? Soup Can. Can you spell it? S O U P C A N. I knew, I just wanted you to yeah. shout them out. Is that a spelling just helping them out. Just helping them out. No, absolutely. So shout out to them. I've uh, been in contact with them. We're getting them mocked up design. So you've actually... Today. I've actually done you've something. You've actually done something I've this actually, Which is very surprising. Even yeah. I was surprised. You don't have to tell me. I was surprised, uh, Toddy. But yeah, no, look out uh, very soon for those stubby holders. They'll be coming your way, our way. What are we thinking we're going to get on it? Well, I was just thinking we'll keep it keep it simple. Keep it simple. Black, yeah, yeah. black base. Black base. With the heaps about nothing logo on the front. Yes. And on the back, we have good friend of the show. Oh, that's very good, Jazzy. <laughs> now, I did want to get a little one or two special ones made up. Special ones? Red font on the back. Enemy of the show. And I reckon oh, we drive... This sounds, <laughs> very, this sounds very difficult. <laughs> and I reckon we drive oh, through we McDonald's <laughs> drive-thru and peg them through the, <laughs> peg them through the drive-thru window. No, but they will be coming to your to your eyes, my eyes, your hands, yeah. our beers very soon. So keep your eyes out for that. Um, it's in the works. So we, it's a press uh, of a uh, button, uh, mate. Do we, do we want to start pre-orders or do we just don't want to get a bit ahead of ourselves? We can start some case. pre-orders. I will, I'm happy to say we'll start We're some pre-orders. We're going to open it up? Yeah. So if you're listening to this now, you want to pre-order a stubby, what's the get, best way to go about it? Get onto the Insta or the Facebook. Just yeah. hit us up. We're yep. going to... 10 bucks, I reckon is the uh, ten bucks a pop goes to a good cause. Our pockets. <laughs> we are we're self on podcast. No, we're, we're, we're so far red. down. We're, we're just gonna so, we'll just end up buying stuff with it. We're anyway. so in the red. I we actually, didn't even make money off the hats. We lost money on. We lost. We'll probably money. lose money on this as well. To be fair. Yeah, true. Didn't you have to send one international? Yeah. 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 Shocker. Fifty bucks. What do you <laughs> <laughs> fucking postage? I figured Lord. out why people pa- make you pay the postage. Why. Because it's, it's expensive. It's very expensive. <laughs> it's expensive. Yeah. yeah. Well, there you go. It's also expensive to run this podcast. Um, but yeah. Keep, keep your getting your up. resolutions in. Yep. Had a few nice ones. We'll yep. be uh, auditing you as the year goes on. Beautiful. So uh, have a think about that and um, we'll leave that open for a few more weeks. So get onto the Insta and Facebook. Yeah. When you get onto the us mm-hmm. for a stubby holder, just put in your resolution too. All right. Chuck it on. And yeah, like us on socials while you're there. Facebook, Insta. TikTok, Please. YouTube, all, all the normal the stuff. stuff. All Jazzy, the stuff. Jazzy, tell me, brother. I've been waiting. Yeah. How was your week? <laughs> mate, tell me. Was, it was grouse. It was a good week, mate. Obviously, grouse? Oh, yeah, grouse. What does grouse mean? Doesn't grouse mean is shit. actually a turkey. Grouse is a form of turkey. Oh, how was your turkey, Jazzy? It oh, actually yeah, it was means, turkey. No, it, no, that's not how you oh. use it. Grouse it means good. I think it's a bit of Eastern slang. Anyway, it was good, mate. I was back to work this week. I thought, gee, I'm going to have to really crack in here. Like, I've had four weeks off. Um, go back to work. Oh, I've only got two days. All good. So I'll get a long weekend, which is nice. Oh, um, however, just after you had fucking ten months off. Yeah. Well, you know how it goes, mate. Fucking teach. Burns out work. Uh, been playing around. You've probably heard of this uh, thing before. Chat GPT. Have you yes, heard of this? I have. For those listening, you're not aware. It's been in the news recently. It's an AI chatbot that learns 
by talking to other people. Very smart, I've heard. Very smart. It scrapes uh, around the internet to try and uh, give you unique answers to your questions. You can chat with it, whatever. So anyway, I'm talking with ChatGPT, just playing around with it. And I go... um, Hey, ChatGPT, can you recommend me a good podcast segment? Yeah. And ChatGPT no says, way. hey, um, here's a funny one. Uh, let's get on some Google reviews. Yeah. And, you know, you talk about them, you get them on the show, you wow. review them. So my question to you, did you use ChatGPT? Is, that, come, is that what they said? To come up with your segments. I was more now, surprised. Now, please be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I was more surprised ChatGPT didn't come back and say, yeah, previous problem with Jazzy. That's going to that's gonna take off. <laughs> Just make sure to remember your notes. No slander. No slander of previous problem with Jazzy in the chat. Now, this is surprising to me. Uh-oh. When I refreshed it, it also come up with uh, celeb news. <laughs> uh, get some celebrity news. Oh, I can't be that smart then, can I? No, because well, that, that's one of our best performing celebrities. So I'll just ask you a quick question off the bat. Did you yeah. use chat GPT to come did up? Did you actually with? ask them this question? I did ask them this question. A bit? No, 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 it's right. a real thing. Can, you, can you get, try and get some more? I tried. Segments? I tried to refresh it, but it come up with a few. I tried around with a few just things, keep, but we'll it didn't. Just keep really, at it. Just keep at it. You're dodging the question. Did you? No, I did. No, <laughs> you didn't? I'm just okay. like, I'm, I have the brain capacity of yeah, chat to, to come up with. I'm it. so yeah. smart. Okay, so you're an AI chatbot, which is yeah. nice. All right, good because I was going to accuse you of fraud, which is good. Um, another one. Been burning through my nose heaps. Yeah. So uh, all right, <clears throat> I've been meaning to bring this up with you. Yeah. Is this true? You've been true. banging on about mm. this mouth first nose breathing stuff and apparently if you breathe through your mouth like Deformed a few face. times, you yeah. end up with a fuck head. You end up looking like Greta Thunberg. You look like a genuine oh thumb. God. Like you genuinely do. <laughs> no, it's true. It's true. You're breathing through your nose, uh, better for your facial structure, better for your airways, yeah. it opens up your airways. Do, do, actual, do actual doctors like say this is a thing or is this one of these Instagram health alternative... I do views. believe I do believe doctors have been saying it. My good friend and good friend of the show, Andrew Huberman. He is Oh a good friend. Good Who friend the of fuck's the show. That? Andrew Huberman is a uh, I think he's a neuroscientist from Stanford and he has a podcast of his own, Huberman Lab, and he's all about the nose right. breathing, mate. Yeah, but yeah, I'll so, get into that. So if you're breathing through your mouth right now, just close that thing. Start breathing through your nose. It honestly it's hard for the first right. like five or ten minutes, but it feels good. Um you don't want to look like Greta Thunberg, all right? You don't want to be looking <laughs> like her. <laughs> And just lastly, while we're on it, I want to take you down a bit of a nostalgia trip because I've been reminiscing this week and there's a few things that have popped up, uh, come across my desk that I think that you might be a fan of. Uh Power balance bands. Sorry? Power balance bands. Do you remember those? Power. Oh. They were the bands with the magnet in there that were meant to improve your your balance, your power, your agility. Did you ever own one of these? No. Could that be the greatest scam in the history of the world? Easily the greatest scam in the history of the world. Everyone at school was just rocking around with one of them. I had two. I had one on each arm at one point. Like a double Rolex. Ultimate balance. Ultimate balance. Well, how could you be perfectly balanced if it was only on one arm? I what was the science behind it? What was it supposed to... The mag- I think it was two magnets and the magnets were meant to affect your... That can't be good for you. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Rolling around with magnets. <laughs> uh, pretty pretty interesting. So, but on we'll top look of into this, that. We'll look a bit further. We'll look into that. it and we'll let you know. Um, on top of this same era, uh, NBA snapbacks. Did you ever have an NBA snapback? Do you remember when these were yeah, popping? Yeah, I remember these. Mitchell and Ness. This, this was the first <laughs> like experience into black market. Um, sell, <laughs> yeah. selling people would sell NBA uh, snapbacks out of their locker, and the other good one, which you might have been going with next, yeah. was the uh, the dodgy Nixon <laughs> watches. Nixon watches. Is that what you, did you have that down? bright coloured shorts and Nixon watches? Um, I had a few of these too. I had a yellow and orange one, and then I had a strictly orange one. The Noxons. The Noxons. Very interesting time, wasn't it, Toddy? Everything was bright, everything was colourful, very vivid. Pink um, shorts. Pink shorts, penny boards, it was good to see. <laughs> pink shorts, penny boards. <laughs> pink boards and pe- uh, penny boards. So uh, that's my week, trip down memory lane, breathing down my nose and playing around. Was that your week or was that your past 10 years? <laughs> oh, settle. I just had a little bit to bring you, right? Yeah, Nothing wrong nice, with that. Nah, that was anyway, a little bit nice. What's up with you? Um, it's a sad day, Jazzy. Oh, it is a sad day. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. I think we're actually holding a funeral today. Cause we are. We will. Yeah. I'll, I'll speak some words. Um, Shaz, mm. the uh, 05 <laughs> Ford Falcon BA, yeah. whose bumper's been held on by <laughs> zip tyres and duct tape. <laughs> for years on end. No, nah, just for the past few weeks. Carpet replaced by empty up and go containers. I cleaned it out <laughs> this week. How long did that take? Fucking ages, man. 
you don't realize how long it takes to clean a car. Is that the first time she's been cleaned in a while? Or? Yeah, on the inside. Yeah, I didn't end up doing the outside. Yeah. So I was, <laughs> I was, I was gonna send her off. Like she deserved it. Yeah. I Into a gonna, Stobie or? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna take us for the car wash across the road. Oh, I'd the never, happy wash. I'd never washed her, and I still, <laughs> I didn't. End up I doing think it. I would have run out of time. Off. Yeah. No, I was worried about the bumper coming off because it's on <laughs> my duct tape. So I was like, nah, don't worry. But yeah. New car out the front. Yeah. And the she's, VE. Looking, she's looking schmick, mate. She's yeah. looking very schmick. Got the spoiler. So a bit of downforce there, which is nice. Got the 18s yes, on yes. the Pirelli. Very which quick for a very V6. Nice. Quick, they were, quickest V6 in the land. <laughs> <laughs> there were, there were rumours floating around that you're actually going to purchase a second-hand AMG C6. Oh, I, 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 I was close. Yeah. And the VE Lumina just got up and <laughs> Way more features. Comfort is there, which is nice. Yeah, rest in It'd peace. It'd be driven in a bit more as well. So. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. You can't look past that. It's easier that. to get them serviced. It's like a pair like of Doc Martens. You need to be worn in. Um, no, not much else this week. I've just been grieving. It literally left this morning. Like really? an hour before you got here. To the scrap heap or? No, no. No. Where'd it go? You just home. went away. You. <laughs> <laughs> it's like putting your dog down Went away We won't speak about where They go in it's the freezer missing. It's gone missing Off to Angel Ashes Interesting Well <sighs> Should we get into it Toddy? Yeah, yeah We should get into it And I've been having <laughs> I've been having trouble Jazzy Yeah My moral compass isn't quite where yours is <laughs> <laughs> I'm very high and mighty aren't I, I I'm know, always up on the horse You're always like Oh I can't do that That's not morally right True Here's me. If I have something in my head, I'll do it. <laughs> no filter. But lately, because it's 2023, I want to improve. That's what we've been about this year, isn't yep. it? Self-improvement. Self-improvement's huge. And I've been coming to a crossroads more often than not Good with my moral compass. Good map. And Top I just format. need you to steer me in the right direction. Absolutely. Fork in the road. That. Absolutely, I can do that. So I've just got a few examples of some either ethical or unethical uh, scenarios. Yeah, this should be easy. And for you... Yeah. Mr. Moral Compass. Oh, absolutely. You should, you should you should, be able to steer me in the right way. I'll pick them. I'll pick them apart. So this happened the other day. Well, this happens most days. I'm at work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, what, you're stopping in the deli for a second? Or, no, no. After uh, this, a few hours later, maybe yeah. an hour and a half. Yeah. <laughs> using a disabled toilet. Ethical or unethical? If you don't have a disability. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, in your case, me, though, it's fine. Me, me, me. Yeah. In your case, it's fine. No, look... Let me talk. Let me let me yeah, s- let me sell it. Give to me you. some context. <laughs> it's eleven thirty yep. in the morning. I've had my pie. Mm-hmm. When nature calls, as it does, we drive to like the nearest toilet. Yeah, there's so much more room in mm-hmm. a disabled toilet. <laughs> they need to fit a wheelchair in. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, it is so much cleaner. Yeah, because it doesn't really get used all yes. that often. Yeah. Yeah. And. There's no one ever there. Which, except, <laughs> one, except <laughs> once, once, yeah, I was in it, yeah, sitting down, having uh-huh. the time of my life, uh huh, flushed, <laughs> open the door, wheelchair man sitting there. Oh no, was he upset? Um, no, because I then proceeded to just uh, keep my head down. Yeah. And just walk away. Smart move. So he didn't actually know if I was disabled or not. Right. So if I apologized and looked at him, yeah. he might have got a gauge a that upset. I was not disabled. Not, not, didn't have a disability. Okay. <laughs> so so okay. I just stuck my okay. head down. I had to be very careful there, Jazzy. Okay. So I think I think in your answer there, you've answered the question. No. Is it okay to use a dis- disabled toilet if you don't if have a disability? No, one's there. no. If no one's there. Do we see people using disabled toilets and five people come out of the toilet on a night out? Yes, we do. It's a, all Oh, yeah, because there's more room to rack up. There's more... Oh, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. I don't <laughs> know what they're doing in there. But there could be... Could Anything could be going on in there. But I'm going to say, no, it's not okay. I'm going to say yes. You're going to say, <laughs> yeah. well, say yes. I feel like regardless of my answer, you're still going to continue to do that. And yeah, but I just need, I just need to know in the back of my head if it's okay. Okay, I'm saying no. So right. please don't. These aren't all for me. These are just some right. things that I look at people doing. Yeah, okay. And Give this one, I think I know where you, you... Oh, you might understand this one. Yeah. 
I'm a pretty I'm not, understanding I'm not, I'm guy. Not big, I'm not big on this <laughs> no? one. I'm a pretty understanding guy, Teddy. So. Parking on the middle of a line so you take up two parks so no one parks close to your car. Absolutely not. I Absolutely hate this. not. I, I hate this. Any flog that does this, seriously, get your shit together. This is so unethical. It's, it's not so funny. unethical. It's not just unethical, it's unsportsmanlike conduct. It's grounds for yeah. imprisonment. It's 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 cheating. Like everyone else cheating. has to park next yeah. to a car. Why should your odds be lowered of some old bird just going bang with a door in your car? Yeah. I saw this. Th- I bring this up because I saw this the other day, mm. and oh, my blood was boiling. <laughs> my blood was boiling, yeah. and I drove away. Yeah, and I thought, geez, if I see that again, yeah, I'm gonna pull up also on a middle of the line. Yeah, but right next to him. Next to him, yeah, smart. Ultimate payback because you don't care so about. Is your that car, petty or is that okay? Is no, that that's, that's good. That's, that's good because it's more petty to be parking across a double line. He starts what the car you have. That's right. You start it. Uh, he starts it. You finish it, mate. Nah, I've been the owner of a few, you know, somewhat nicer cars, but I've never ever done a double line park. Do you think we know anyone that's ever done that? Hundred percent. A hundred percent. Would you want to Brad, call some people? Brad D. Brad D. He's done that, mate. That dude. He's had some lovely whips in his time. Hundred percent. Brad Danks. Either he's gone to the other side of the car park where no one else parks, and he's doing the walk, or if he's late for work, he's in a shit mood. Brady D. Is going double line park in the Golf or whatever he's driving these days. All right. That's that's exactly <laughs> so what's happening. So that's unethical behaviour. That's absolutely unethical. All right. Good. Absolutely I'm glad unethical. we glad we agreed on one. Hundred <sighs> percent. Uh, you might have seen this one a few weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Making your housemates pay higher rent to cover your own and not tell them. Did you see this a few weeks ago? No. Explain. So there was a there was a post in like Sydney online. Yeah. In like a housemates group on Facebook. Yeah. And he said, uh, for the last few years, I've had four housemates mm-hmm. and they've all been renting. Yeah. And he's been like the king of the renters. Right. And like yeah. subleasing it again to all these housemates, and they've been living together. Yeah, and all the f- the four other people have just been paying slightly higher rent to cover the dude who reckons he's running the show. You're joking me. So he's a renter who's renting it out. The renting landlord. Oh my goodness me! <laughs> that is completely unethical. That is just. I don't so mind bad. it, Jazzy. That's a, mind that's, it. A, that's a thousand IQ in my that, books. That is, you know, they, you know, they're very big on entrepreneurship and whatnot these days, making money by any means. But that's capitalism personified, it's, it's isn't capital. it? That really is people struggling to make a buck. Sometimes so you're to, made by your environment, environment, Jazz. <laughs> yeah, you are. So sometimes you got to extort people for money. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> yeah, you got to just slowly, slowly extort people. That's that's. I hate that. I hate that a lot. I if that was like happening it. to me. Few rubbish yeah, bins Jesse, being kicked yeah, over on the way out. this week, six hundred bucks. Yeah. So the reason why he had to put it in this group was, oh, the lease was coming up. Yeah. And they're all gonna have to sign it. Yeah. And he wrote, "How do I explain to everyone that um, they've actually been paying way too much?" Uh, you come clean and face the consequences, Bella. Act a fool, face a fight. That's what they say. Not so. for me. Double nah. down. Double down. Double down. <laughs> oh, boys, it's all good. Nah, like. <laughs> uh, there must have been someone carried the zero. Fucking, I don't know. Yeah, uh, landlord's fault. Nah, we, me and you, completely different sides of the spectrum there that's interesting stuff unethical very unethical don't rate it <sighs> stealing stuff from work there's a few ways oh. you could look at this <laughs> here we go <laughs> yeah i wouldn't make you admit to stealing anything no, from your no, work so, no, never. so maybe we'll talk about past employers yeah yeah are these big companies are they big enough to survive on their own that they should maybe expect a few things going missing from time to time or th- is someone going to pay for it down the line? I think if you're paying your workers 22 bucks an hour and potentially a sausage roll or a pasty you get to eat and that's not accounted for, I think that's fine. I ate so many nuggets at Hungry Jacks. Oh, mate. Oh, when I, I was a big nugget. When I used to work at the <laughs> Servo, I would just used to eat the stuff that we would nom, throw nom, out like, nom, all nom. the time. Who cares, mate? It's getting thrown in the bin anyway. Yum, yum. A um, few reduced protein shakes that never saw the stock list light a day so so if you work for a big company i think it's ethical to feed a few things ethical ethical i think i think uh it, it's lining your pocket more than it's lining their pocket and that's a good thing because we don't like capitalism we don't like consumerism ah Here? capitalism's all right capitalism's I all right like it. yeah you don't like we'll it embrace communism. what else are we gonna do embrace communism mm, bit of marxism i don't know, I don't know. but yeah no, that's on. fine with me that's fine with me last one you're gonna hate this yeah, here we go this is very unethical in mm. your parts yep Buying clothes off Sheen. 
Oh no, he's, he's angry. He's, oh. he's blown a gas. Oh, oh, Toddy, look at me. Look no. at me. I'm a fit of rage right now. I'm a fit of rage. Sheen needs to be shut down. There's actually, we've talked about this before. They were putting, workers were putting on the tags of their clothes. Yeah. Um, help, come save me, okay. help me. But alternatively, yes. if people aren't buying off there, they're out of a job. Yes, but I think mm. there should be loopholes around having there them having to get a job in not. a sweatshop at paying getting paid like five cents probably not but is every shop a sweatshop there in where china maybe oh, potentially yeah why do you think everything so, all, made in so china? if ever, if we shut there's down a, all the sweatshops then there's nowhere to work well then they can they there's always somewhere to work man no, there's not there's always no, somewhere there's not. Work. There's no yeah. jobs no jobs no I, unemployment rates over 30 percent there no what do you got I, well, I don't have anything off the top of my head see this is see this is where the base leftist uh ideology it's got like nothing to say look at these lefties lefties have no argument once they're pushed once they're pushed back i'm not even a lefty i'm not even a lefty i'll sit directly in the middle mate but Uh, i'm just i'm just saying i don't have anything off the top of my head with stats ready to go but i'm just saying but if give me give me an hour to prepare yeah (laughs) let me watch a youtube video and i'm good all right um no but if you're buying a five dollar top off machine think about the people that are making it or you go buy something like a patagonia or you go buy like a something that's ethical, Ethic- ethically, ethically made ethical or organically made. made. Like even Nike now are doing like their move to zero. You can buy like something. It's a little bit more expensive, but you're getting the the upcycled value uh, from it. Okay. All right. Thanks, I hate mate. that thanks, shit. Thanks, mate. No, no worries. I feel, feel like, I feel like a better person for this. Bit of philanthropy today yeah. on uh, heaps about nothing, which is nice, Toddy. Which is nice. But that's that's infuriated me. That's ruined my day. All right. Because you're still gonna buy clothes off Sheen. No, no, I don't have too many. I don't have too many. Gabby right. will though. Anyway. Um, now, this may be a common occurrence in your life, my life, the people's lives, um, yep. listening. You're either, you know, you're meeting someone for the first time or you're having a chat with, uh, you know, the bloke behind the bar or you're having a chat with, you know, the service station uh, operator. And a few of these things that are said in the conversation, they just don't sit right with me. Oh, no. And I think we need to, as a community, we need to start calling these out and really what, what do you mean? addressing what do you the mean? issue. Is this just like... Just dead chat, just things that just doesn't need to be said. Or just things that are obviously a given that don't need to be said. Yeah. Um, so I'll give you a quick example. I've got a few examples here actually, and you tell me what you're thinking if you've heard yeah. these before. Common responses, common demographic yeah, 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 that might yeah, yeah, be said yeah. by. Here's a common one. Someone's over your house. You've got a dog. You've got two lovely sausages. I come over. Yeah, hey, Toddy, your dog can smell my dog. Yeah, I've, I've I think I've brought this up once before. I hate mm. this. It's no good. It doesn't need to be said. Obviously, they can. Dogs have an elite sense of smell. Yeah, but dogs are just happy to see you. They're happy to see you. And they're just coming up. They're happy to they're have just, a They're sniff. just going to jump on you. They're going to jump on anyone. Oh, common demographic. Smell my dog. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Common, <laughs> common demographic for this, everybody. Yeah. Um, needs to be stopped being said. Yeah. Uh, my favorite response to this. Haha, <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the perfect response would be. Yeah. Wait, so if it's someone else's dog. Yeah. Hmm, <laughs> hang on. Yeah. Perfect response would be. Yeah. Wait, no, who says it? The so, so person walking in your house. Oh, your dog can smell my dog. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. No, what you say is, my dog can't smell. <laughs> and then what? <laughs> my dog has lost its sense of smell. And then they say, oh, yeah. Yeah, just, just put, them, yeah, just put yeah. some real See awkward. what I mean? It just <laughs> leads to nothing. It leads to nothing. No, There's but then no, it's proving that they can't smell it. It's But they do have elite smells. They, they do can. have elite smells. They smell. probably can't smell that. Here's another one. If you signed up at one of these F45s or like BFTs or something like this, you've probably heard this before, said by an instructor. Pain is a weakness leaving the body. Oh, shut the <laughs> fuck up. And it's not. Pain is just a receptor. Pain hurts. Pain it's a hurts. Neuron, neuron receptor in your brain. It's firing. Oh, I'm in pain. Uh, it's telling you to stop. That's all it is. It's not weakness leaving the body. It's not uh, Reiki healing. Uh, all right? Now you've made me remember, like, think about all these like fitness sayings. Goggins. And, like, oh, my Goggins. God. You nah, love but, that sort of shit. Oh, mate. Goggins is a lot. Fucking Goggins. In the He's process, a loser, bro. No, no, don't, no Goggins slander. I'm in the process of reading his second book. It's pretty unreal, Toddy. You should get around. I'll send it to you when I'm done. Yeah. He's very pain as weakness leaving the body, but he says it in a nicer way. I just don't enjoy pain as weakness leaving the body. I think that's a silly, that's a silly one. Speaking, so. speaking of silly ones, Uh-oh. now let's do a silly one. <laughs> I love that. No, 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 that's great. I've been doing that lately. You're taking a photo, group photo, taking a few, you think, oh good, I'm done. No, and I just yell out, let's do a silly one. Let's do a silly one. And it gets laughed every time. 
What does the silly one encompass? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> tongue out, yeah. shaker up, maybe something, yeah. something, <laughs> something very silly, something very oh, silly. I'm big on that. I'm, I'm not a fan that. of that. Demographic for that is probably 45 plus. But if you're saying that, maybe you've lowered the demographic a bit, which is nice. Yeah. Um, a few more. I'll loosen it up for you. Does Sorry? not. I loosened it up for you is when you're opening when you, a jar. And you this would happen a lot in your life when. Um, yeah. Tash asks you yeah. to open a jar. And I can't you do struggle. It. Yeah. Don't open it. Oh, no, nah, you have it back. And she just goes. <laughs> and then you just go. She's strong. Oh, She's very well, strong. I, I loosened it up for you. 100%. It always seems to be the pickle jars. Those pickle jars that Would get she you. beat you in an arm wrestling match? 100%. She'd mm. beat me in an arm wrestle. Yeah. She's Iron Man, strong man, personified. Woman or man? Um, <laughs> either or. It doesn't matter these <laughs> days. Um, and the last one. Ha. Huh. Who needs the gym? After lifting something slightly heavy, I used to hear I've this. I've heard this. I used to hear this. this at work all the time. Well, like someone just picks up a random box. You pick up like a a box of something and then you put it down and they wipe their brow. They're oh, who needs the gym? Oh my god! You don't need to say that. That's not a workout. It's not anything. Yeah. All right. So that just needs to stop. So if you hear any of these, please call them out. Shit, chat detectives. I need my detectives on deck. Um, have you got any? Do you know my worst? I've just got one. Yeah. It's my most hated one. The worst one, yeah. Here we go. The most hated one. Yep. Someone says they were sick the other day. Mm. They go, oh yeah, I just had like had a little bug over the weekend. And they look at you and go, yeah, there's a bit of a thing going around. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. I'm a sucker for this one because I'm oh sick a lot. God. I'm sick a lot, and that's just my go-to. I can't help it. It's just yeah, something going around. Of course, this ain't going around. Yeah. It's, that's why you caught it. You it's idiot. statistically probable that there's someone sick <laughs> in the world at all yeah. times. Yeah. Of course, there's a thing going around. Yeah. So these, don't say that. N- n- don't say it. It needs to be called out. It needs to be addressed. I don't want to hear this in my conversations anymore. And neither should you. So, <clears throat> yep. There we go. Should we bring back something we haven't done in a while, Jazzy? Yes, I would love to bring back something I haven't done in a while, Toddy. What is it? Oh, we missed it last week. Yeah, Jazzy Sports back. Oh goodness me! No. I got so many messages over the weekend, no. and people coming up to me in the street, and they're no, shaking my hand, didn't. and they're going, "Jazzy, you love the vet first vet back, brother." But where was Jazzy Sport? And I said, "Boys, boys, I was boys, getting, I down. was getting the opposite. I was getting yeah. best episode I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> no Jazzy Sport, but we've got a little yeah. bit of something different for the yeah for the uh, listeners this week. What are we doing? We do towards well, we'll do this. Should we do this at the end or should we do this now? Oh, either or. We'll do it at the end. But we, the end. Well, we have a... Uh, we're going to incorporate, which I don't indulge in myself, but we're going to incorporate yeah, a yeah. little bit of gambling. A little bit of gambling. Heaps of gambling. For those of you that are avid gamblers, you've obviously um, seen our statistic about how much uh, Australia loses per capita on the year. Almost $1,000. Who so gives a fuck? If you want to contribute, if you want to, contribute to that demographic, then we're, we're going to do a multi for you. You can get on it with us if you want, and we're going to track it throughout What's the week. What's happened, Jazzy, in this week of sport? Oh, I've got so much for you. I've got so much. We've, we've missed Jazzy sport. We really have. We, I've got so much. You let me know what you're thinking about these headlines. Uh-oh. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. we'll see how we go. Peter Bowl. Oh, yeah. He runs fast. Yeah. A lot better than Peter Play, I've heard. Uh, oh my fails oh my fails drug God. tests uh, and denies taking any banned substances. <laughs> I believe Peter. I stand with two meter Peter. What did he, what did he uh, test positive for? Being Not a sh- fucking fast cunt? <laughs> he's, he's super fast. He's a super lovely guy too. But he's denied it. He has denied it. So I don't actually... I believe him. I stand with Peter. Put your uh, plates out for Peter mm, because okay. there's no way that this man has taken any illicit substances. He's a champion. Allegedly, allegedly. We don't want to get in trouble. That's right. I'm just reporting the news. We'll we'll stay off it. We'll we'll follow this one a bit deeper. (laughs) Uh, Russia Russia meeting with uh, UEFA, Olympic bodies, um, in a bid to unban themselves from competition. In a bid to unban themselves? Supposedly. I saw a a rumor a few weeks ago they wanted to come to Asia. Russia and Asia. Yeah. Russia, Asia. Yeah. Yeah. To do what? Wait, what was the headline again? <laughs> <laughs> Russia are meeting with UEFA and the Olympic bodies in a bid to unban themselves. I'm yeah. assuming to get like their flag back on the... Because a lot of the athletes no, were banned. they're not even playing football at the moment at all. Mm. Yeah. So that's why they wanted to move to Asia, not Europe. UEFA's Europe. They're not a part of... Yeah. They're not a part of... Uh, UEFA. Oh, Okay. UEFA's Europe. God, I need to brush Jared. up on my... Yeah, oh, my okay. God. Goodness me. Where even oh is my. Russia on the world map? I'd throw a dart. <laughs> Where is it's it? It's probably a good chance you'd hit it. It's that fucking big. It is. It's massive. Um, Jesus. I don't, I don't... Oh, <laughs> good, mate. Very good. All right, we're good. What were you saying, Jazzy? I was saying that... Before I spilled my shit everywhere. I don't want the Russians back in sport because they're too good at everything. Okay. 
Um, do you agree? I agree. They're too good. They're good at chess. Very good at chess. Way better than me. Uh, Australian Open. Aussies got some cool nicknames. Yep. Demon. Too bad they suck at tennis. They suck, but they have cool nicknames. We love cool nicknames on the show. They got Demon. Yep. Uh, Mailman. King King Curios. That's a good one. And Cock. <laughs> the Cock. That's a good one. Have you been watching any of the tennis? Oh, yeah. How many games have you watched? Yeah, Sister Pass is pretty good at tennis. Yep. I watched Popperin's game against... Fucking Joe Some Blow, mood. he was yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What can Popperin's nickname be? Um, the Pop. Granddad. What's his first name? A Pop. Alex. A Pop. A Pop. That's pretty Soda pop. shit, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know. It's not really. It's not really doing it for me. Um, Djokovic in the hot seat to win again. Do you reckon he'll beat Sisters Oh, I don't know. I literally don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'd Tennis. It's a come on, man. It's a funky sport, isn't it? Do it's you like the Joker? Oh, you don't like him. I hate the Joker. I'm on Deport him. the right, Joker. You go for Sitsa Pass, I'll go for the Joker. All right, well, I'm up, I'm up for Sitsa Pass. I actually didn't put that in my multi, which is surprising. I probably should have. A um, couple more. Uh, Johnny Herbert, <laughs> Johnny Sherbert, <laughs> and Paul Deresta axed f- uh, by Sky for Jensen Button and Nico Rosberg. I'm, of course, talking about Formula One commentary. Mm. You've replaced. We used to be so bored with Formula One and ch- chat, and now you want to talk about Formula One commentary. And now, instead of Johnny Herbert and Paul Deresta, who arguably aren't the best, we're getting mm. Jensen Boring Button <laughs> and Nico Rosberg, who, in fairness, uh. yes, he is a dick, but I don't mind the fact that he just. Ha- hates Hamilton still so he's very anti-Hamilton which no, I okay. enjoy a lot oh yeah you like and that, I think he's also you? anti-Max too you're a fucking too. racist dog I think <laughs> <laughs> sorry no I'm just I'm anti <laughs> okay Lewis time to push like, yeah, shut yeah, up yeah, man yeah. shut up right, 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 right. Um, he's also anti-Max as well which I think that you'll like so oh I don't mind that we'll see I don't even tune into Sky I'm not sure why I really wrote this down which is interesting we um, do we get the Sky feed on KO true true um, and last but not least, EPL. Will Arsenal bottle the league? Probably. Probably. I think they will bottle they the league. Suck. City champions City again. City breathing down their necks. Bad time Nine to be points. a Liverpool-Chelsea fan too. I think so. What the, f- the first time City like stumble up and yep. like it's there for the taking and yep. Liverpool suck, Chelsea suck, Spurs suck. Ninth and 10th, <laughs> I think, respectively. Yeah. Um, Darwin Nunes, he's playing like the state of uh, well, like Darwin, Northern Territory at the moment. Darwin Snunes. <laughs> Man can't buy a goal. Man stinking up the place like Darwin in the Northern Territory stinks up there. <laughs> it's just he is, he is stinking up the place, brother. He is genuinely stinking up the place. Um, now just to, I want to do another quick shout out. If you yeah. want to listen to some real um, football chat, go check out the Night Shift Football Podcast. Oh yes, you've been Lo- listening to them lately. I've been listening you? to them a lot. Uh, I didn't want to uh, take their information that they've been giving me, so I'll try to source my own opinions oh, and whatnot. Did you see the comment they left? I saw on, the comment that um, they left. They, left. Um, leave they the, said leave football to them, which I will from now on. Uh, if you want to listen to some actual football commentary and actually know what's going on from. E- experts i would call them experts mm. uh not shift football podcast check that but out. no one's really come here to listen to expert opinion well they've uh, come here to hit, see you like fumble over your words yeah. trying to remember <laughs> what happened who's where <laughs> what sports have been what playing? sport I haven't watched anything in six months Which, how can i get out of this yeah, essentially, <laughs> how can essentially. I fluff my way through a sports segment <laughs> now now yeah. moving on to what we promised the, uh, multi. the big the big multi the multi so i reckon we do three legs each okay and oh, oh, one, two, three, four. So I can get rid of one. Oh, okay. we can do four. Leg- we do, do four. A mega, mega multi. A mega multi. We might have a few of the same anyway, and then we okay. might be able to cross one off. Um, should I go first? You go first. You can go first. Give, give us your four. Uh, explain why. This is uh, Adelaide United versus Melbourne City. I've got City to win um, by a nil. Is that what that means? Like they like to Ad- nil Ad- to Ad- win to nil to nil um, or head to head if you're feeling a bit you know not confident or feeling confident. We're going to do a few. Legs, we just do, we'll just do straight out. Head to head. All right, All right City cool. head to head. I, look, that's betting with they're my the, brain, not my heart the, there. They're the top team. They're very, very good. At home. At home. They're $1.57. Uh, Adelaide haven't... Oh, that's nice. Nice start. I didn't have the, the prices written down, which is nice. Um, I got Mariners to win head to head as well. Um, Lovely. Both team to score, if you're feeling inclined. So I reckon they're about $2 on their own. With it just to win, so I reckon they'll be they'll be lovely, Jazzy. That's nice. They're in good form. The Mariners, good form, uh, second at home, lovely. Uh, Barcelona to win head to head, both teams to score if you want. Um, I think they're playing Jatafi. 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 Yeah, they're playing, <laughs> yeah, playing Jatafi. <laughs> they're playing Jatafi. We love Jatafi. Shout out Jatafi. <laughs> and then we've got uh, Inter to win two point five goals or over, or head to head if you want. We'll just, I reckon we'll just do the head to heads. Head to head. Yeah, because we right. have a few legs. So was that uh, Inter to win Melbourne City? Yep. Mariners. Yep. Barca, Barca against and Getafe, and Inter, and, and Inter, Inter Milan. All football, all football. Yep. Um, how many have I got? 
I got three legs for you. So yep. we have a nice seven leg multi, mate. Mm-hmm. I got our favourite sport, Big Bash. Big Bash. Oh, I the love Perf Scorch is a plan tonight. Yep. Against the uh, Sydney Sixers. We love Big Bash. It is not Disney Channel cricket at all. No. So I got them at dollar seventy two. Yep. FA Cup on this weekend. Yep. I got Leicester. Pl- I can't. I didn't put down who they're playing. Yep. They're playing like some absolute no name team. <laughs> yeah, but they're gonna win regardless. But they're gonna win. Jamie Vardy's And also, I got Leeds. They're also playing some no name team. Leeds are gonna take the lead and win. One of them's playing like <laughs> Walsall and the other one's yeah. playing like fucking Ac- Accrington Stanley or some shit. So I got Leeds that to yep. win by two goals or more on that one. Yeah. All right. Perfect. So seven legger there. Yep. Jazzy. Scorches Leicester. Leeds by two or more. Yep. Barca to beat Jatafi. <laughs> Inter, <laughs> City. And Mariners. And Mariners four. That's going to be some juicy. How money. much are we putting on that? 10 each. 10 each? 20? 20? Yeah. Oh, I reckon that's not bad. Tony. We'll, and we'll split the winnings and tell you what, if we get up there. Maybe a cheeky little giveaways on the cards. A little cheeky little, little giveaway. Cheeky little giveaway. And anyway. Next week, we're we'll going to do this again. Yeah. But say we'll do we'll do like five legs. Mm. We'll do two legs each. Yeah. And we'll get a guest punter on. Yeah. On the line to do their one leg and explain why. I like that. I've got a few happy punters that will be happy to oh. um, indulge their services into uh, our multi, which is nice. But that's Jazzy Sport. It's good to be back. Oh, oh that felt so good. Very nice. That felt so good to get out. Um, what are we up to now? All right. I reckon you've got. I reckon you've got something for us, Jazzy. I've got something very, very cheeky for us. This some, TikTok some... loves this. The TikTok they love the uh, the who said it segments. I've got something a little bit different this Ooh, week. Oh, changing it up, changing it up. It's not who said it, but who tweeted it. Who tweeted it? Now we're going head to head between two of the heavyweights um, of Twitter. And you could probably guess who I'm talking about before oh, I even say Barack it. Barack Obama. Yep, he's heavyweight. And Andrew Tate. Me. Yep, you're a heavyweight on Twitter, mate. I've I'm seen a heavyweight everywhere. Man. I've seen some of your tweets. Um, you are slim and trim. You're not a heavyweight, mate. Don't, don't uh, count yourself out. So I'm who we got? Who we got? Talking about Donald Trump versus uh, Kanye West. Ooh, spicy one. They are very spicy. On very the, spicy uh, one on the Twitter. It's going to be the general gist obviously rolls the reverse i'm asking you who said it you tell yep. me who said it pretty yep, simple yep, you got yep, a 50 yep. 50 shot at Kenny. here's your first one sorry losers and haters but my iq is one of the highest and you all know it please don't feel stupid or insecure it's not your fault oh that's a good one jazzy that is a good one off the but bat. i reckon just the the straight up i'm the smartest mm-hmm. you all suck very trump-esque for me i'm gonna lock in trump You'd be absolutely right, mate. It's Donald oh, Trump. Yes. It's Donald Trump. This is uh, this was early era Donald Trump. What was he talking? What, was this in reference to anything? Was it just random? No nah, context. No, nah, no context. I think he's just blurted this out after a can of Diet Coke and a Big Mac. I think he's just felt like a bit of a hero. Sugar's hit him. Wrong and he's just gone. You know what? Diet Coke and a Big Mac. Here we go, which is nice. All right, where we got it? Here's the second one. Once again, I'm being attacked for presenting new ideas. Oh. I'm going to have to switch up. I don't yeah. know Kanye because he's real uh, world is against me. Yep. But so is Trump as well. Yeah, true. Who's presenting new ideas? and getting? I think Kanye just thinks he's at the forefront of yep. new ideas. Human civ. Human civilization, mm. artistic re- revolution. Yeah. It's got Kanye all over it. You'd be absolutely right. It's Kanye West, oh, mate. It's Kanye lovely, West. And, lovely. This is, and this is, once again, this is golden era Kanye when he was tweeting just the most crazy. I'd argue we're still in golden era, Kanye. Oh, I don't know with the anti-Semitic remarks he's been making, oh, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm not, not <laughs> sorry, really sure sorry. about that, mate. All good. Uh, I think that, that skipped your brain. Here's your third one. At Katy Perry. Katy, what were you thinking when you married that loser, Russell Brand? That guy has got nothing going. What a waste. <laughs> <laughs> what do you reckon of Russell Brand? I love Russell Brand. You like Russell I Brand? I really like Russell Brand. I think his character arc is like akin to some of the best that we've seen. He's got a lovely... Oh, did uh, he used to be a loser, did he? I think so. I think he was uh-huh. like a bit of a like drug addict, whatever. But he's turned his life around. He's like pretty monk mode at the moment. He's got a good YouTube monk channel. Mode. Yeah, monk okay. mode. Yeah. So who do you think's tweeted that about our good friend Russell? I love the just going out and calling someone a loser. Yeah. That's very Trump-esque. I reckon. Yeah. I'm going to lock in Trump. You've hit the nail on the head. That's Donald Trump. <laughs> that is Donald Trump in 2017. Katy Perry, what were you thinking? When <laughs> Katy you Perry? Around? What was she thinking? Who's she with now? She's with oh, someone. She Don't doesn't th- need anyone. She's got all I that. I want to say she's Orlando the, Bloom. Um, is she with Orlando Bloom? She's got all the menu log money. That's right. She yeah, doesn't she need does anything. Have, she's got big menu log Ding money. Dong. All right. What's the other one? Let's eat money. She's got let's eat money. Let's eat. What was the other one? 
Uh, skip. Skip. Yeah. Skip the dishes. Yeah. That's pathetic. Here's your fourth one. I have never seen a thin person drinking Diet Coke. It's a good point. <laughs> you drink about wait, six a day. Yeah, wait, hang on. No, I don't drink Diet Coke. I drink Coke, no, no sugar. I, I mean, it's this. Do you think there's a. Di- it's so a similar I heard thing. It's, it's like the same thing, mm. but they just can't retire the Diet Coke brand because. It's been around for so long and there's so many people that drink it. Is that right? I don't know. That's yeah. what I heard. It's a rumor mill. I got no idea. They taste the same to me. That's I don't I honestly don't drink it, so I can tell you. Um I'm gonna stick with Trump. I reckon I've heard this before. Yeah. Now on the head it's Trump. Oh bang. Yeah, we're going four for four here. This is yeah, nice. We're on, we're you on. Really how many have we got? How many have we got? Uh I think we got another we got three more. Ooh, we got three more. So can you, I go the sweep? Can you go the sweep? I'll I'll give you something special if you go the sweep, mate. Um all right, we'll change it up oh, a bit. We'll see how we go. I need a room full of winners. Uh, I need a room full of mirrors so I can be surrounded by winners. Oh, I like that. That's a good quote. That's a good one. That's a good quote. That's a very <laughs> egotistical. They're both very narcissistic yeah, people. Could come from both. It could have. Obviously, the whole and point of the segment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> funny just, how that works. I just state the obvious, but your dog can smell my dog. Uh, like, yeah. It's five pm uh, somewhere. Oh, that's a good that's one. Another that's another one. That's a good, a good one. one, yeah. It, I hate when people say that because it's not. If it's like yeah. 10 past, it can only ever be 10 past or f- 22 somewhere in the world. I'm glad someone switched on with the time zones. That's what, um, what are we for. talking about? I said, I need a room, uh, full, room of mirrors full of mirrors so I can be surrounded by winners. Um, I just go to Trump. This is Trump. Uh, you'd be dead wrong, mate. That's Kanye West. Is it? Kanye I West. I heard that. And you fluffed the sweep, unfortunately. Uh, but that's a good one by Kanye. That's, I don't want to play this anymore. That's pinnacle, pinnacle era Kanye, which is nice. Uh, two more. You got to get that. Full of mirrors. You got to get that's these good. ones. So you can look at yourself. President Obama, close down the flats from Ebola affected areas right now before it's too late. What the hell was wrong with you? Whoa. Ebola. That's a throwback. Remember I haven't heard that, that in a while. That was the next big thing. Where's that? Where's Ebola now? Where's Coney now? Where's Corona now? Are you saying Coney had Ebola? Probably. He was in that region. He's in Uganda. Oh, that's racist. That's so sad. What? <laughs> Uganda knuckles. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Trump just loved any. He'd love it any excuse to cut off flights to mm. some of these countries. Mm. He would have just jumped on that bandwagon. I'm going to say it's our, it's our boy Trump. Donald Trump. It is Donald Trump. It is. Well done. Well done. And uh, lucky lucky last one. This is the classic. You've probably heard this one before. Probably. I low-key don't fuck with that bitch, Stormy. <laughs> <laughs> Who could this be? Who's, who's proud enough, loud and proud enough to say that? I low-key don't fuck who's with that Stormy bitch, Stormy. Again? Stormy's, uh, I think, Kylie's... Uh, Kid, first kid, Stormy. Yeah. Stormy. You know how she talks like that? Stormy. Yeah, well, <laughs> I low key don't fuck with it. <laughs> it's a kid. It's genuinely a kid. He's like, so that's Kanye. It's, 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 Kanye. it's Kanye. It's Kanye. This is actually, um, I'm not sure if this is real or not, but it's like people have made like banners off it on like Etsy. You can buy yeah. like a banner of like a really blown up tweet of, yeah. See, Kanye I was confused then because who, Stor- who was Stormy Daniels? <laughs> Wasn't that this, this She's stripper? She's an adult film star. That Trump... That Trump... Uh, was sussing. Sussing, I think. Yeah. That's why you had me... That's why... So oh, that was, that's actually a tough that's question. That's a good one. So that's actually not bad. Yeah. Oh, there you so go. he could have actually pulled up and said, I low-key don't fuck with yeah, true. Stormy. Well, he, he, he probably but he does, though. He does. And did. And probably doesn't speak like that. And low-key fuck with Loki. You did well there. You Thanks. almost had the sweep. Was it a seven out of... You got six out, out of seven, seven which is nice. Like the uh, meatloaf song goes... Six out of seven ain't bad. I don't think that's how it goes, but mm. I will give it to you regardless. Thoughts on the beer. I love Fitz, this beer. Thoughts I on love the beer. This beer. I actually have really enjoyed this. I uh, it tastes even better out the tap. Um, it's close to an S for it's me, so but it's not close. there. It's an A. It's you top of the A's. It's top of the A's. It's definitely oh. the best. It's definitely the best pale we've had. I can't put it on. It's an A plus. I can't put it on S tier with the well, South Coast. Else? Turn around. What else is on the A? On the A, we have only mismatched session ale by, and that is really good. That's better than that. I reckon this is better than the mismatch. I reckon they're on par. I can't give it an S, Toddy. I'm oh. sorry. I'm sorry. Because Pirate Life is paying me to say True. that Pirate Life is the True. best. True, we do love Pirate Life, but we yeah. also we love, love the Big shed. shed more if they get on board too. Okay, I tell you what. If who? All right, here's this. Yeah. 
We'll send out some messages this week. If Big Shed or Pirate Life hit us back and say they'll send us free beer. Yeah. Does Big Shed do it? This goes S tier. Yeah. And then we can drop the South Coast down to an A. And if Pirate Life get back to us with some free beer, yeah. they can stay top and this can go as a bin. Money talks, boys. Money talks. Money so talks, if talks. you want your beer on an arbitrary whiteboard list, then... Just send it to us. You better get back to us, all right? All right, Toddy. Happy with that, Jazzy. That should do it for another week, mate. Perfect. Thanks for listening. We're going to drink heaps of beers today, aren't we? We're going to drink so many beers. I'm getting on the Betty beers today. The low cows. They're disgusting. Definitely not. DT beers. All right. All right. See you in a bit. See you. See you.